Welcome back. This is lesson five of Machine Learning Zoom Camp session nine. And in this lesson, we will prepare a Docker image for publishing it to AWS Lambda. In the previous lesson, we took the notebook we had and we converted this notebook to a Python script. We tested this Python script locally. We saw that it works. And now we want to package everything inside a Docker container. For that, we need to create a Docker file and save it as Docker file. And now in Docker file, we have this from line. Here we specify the base image. For that, we can take images that are prepared by AWS and use them as base images. Let's go to public uh, ECR AWS. These are public images from AWS. Actually, it redirected me to gallery, which contains all these public images. And now let's look for Lambda, actually Python and Lambda, since we use Python. So we actually need this Python. So it's slash lambda slash python and we go to this image tags and in the image tags we see all the available tags let's use 3.8 this one so i'll copy it so this is the base image we use now we need to install a couple of things so i'll do run pip install we need to install this keras image helper that's one thing. And then the other thing, let me check. So long command, let me just copy this thing here. It's also, just make it a bit nicer like that. So we install dependencies, and then we need to copy the model file. Just quickly do this, this clothing model TF flight. So we copy it, we copy it to the current directory, and then we copy Lambda function. So let me just also copy this function and then the last thing we need to do here is provide a comment so this is different from entry point so before we specified entry point here we need to tell lambda how to find the lambda function how to find our function our function lives in lambda function dot lambda handler i'm actually not completely sure how this works so why cmd and how it actually translates to, to this Lambda handler, but I just know it works. So if you actually know how it works, maybe try it in Slack. I'm curious to know how it works. And so this is the image we have. Now let's build it. For that, we do docker build then minus t our tag. I'll call it clothing model and dot, meaning that we use a docker file from here. And it starts pulling the base image. And now it runs all these commands that we put. And by the way, here we do not install NumPy and we do not install Pillow because Keras Image Helper depends on NumPy and Pillow and TensorFlow Light Runtime depends on NumPy. So they install these dependencies as well. Okay, it's done. Now we need to test it. Let's docker run minus it minus minus rm, then the name of the image. Then we also need to open the port. I think it runs on port 8080. Yeah, that one, I was too early. No, I don't need that one here. Let me put it at the end. So now we run our container, start our image and run it. So let's test it. For that, I'll create a test file here, test.py. Here I'll use requests, import requests. Requests. Then URL we will use will be HTTP localhost 8080. This is where our container runs. It exposes port 8080. The rest of the URL is kind of long. Don't ask me why this URL is there. This is coming from AWS. They decided to do it like this. Functions, then function, then invocations. It's pretty long URL. This is the URL. We're doing something similar when we were deploying models with Flask. And now we have a Docker image. Now we want to send a request to that container and see what it replies with. Quests, post, then the data we have will be URL, and this will be URL of pens. I think I have it somewhere here. Just copy it. So URL, and then JSON will be our data. And then we want to parse the response. So this is the result. And then let's just print it. Let me run it. Python test.py. 
we actually have an error here. This is not the error I was talking about in the previous lesson. This is something else. So the reason we have this error here is because the library we installed in this Docker file was compiled for a different version of Linux. In Lambda, we use Amazon Linux. All Lambda images are based on Amazon Linux. This one was compiled for Ubuntu. I don't know which one, maybe 2004. I'm not sure, but it was compiled on Ubuntu. That's why it worked on Ubuntu. Maybe it was compiled on Debian, I'm not sure, but uh, it worked on a Debian-based distribution. But Amazon Linux is a CentOS-based distribution, and we need to compile this library and make sure that, you see, it actually error says that this version of library is not found when compiling the library. JLibc was available and was of this version, but it's not available in Lambda. For that, what we need to do is we actually need to compile TensorFlow Lite in the environment where we want to run it. You don't need to do this. There are already compiled versions, so I went through the troubles of doing this, and you can find the compiled versions in this TensorFlow Lite AWS Lambda repo. If you're interested how to actually do this, there is a readme file with all the instructions, how to do it for different versions of Python and different versions of TensorFlow. But there is a already compiled version, so we use Python 3.8, and the version of TensorFlow that we use is 2.7.0. So let's just take that one, and we need to click on this download and copy link. And with pip, instead of using the name of library, we can point to a wheel file using a URL, and it will just go download this wheel file and install the library. So I just compiled this library and put this to GitHub, and people just go there to GitHub, fetch this library, and install it. So let's rebuild the image. So now it uses this image this time. And yeah, let's rerun it. Actually, one of the reasons you see I used here just pip install. I didn't use pipenv. It's a bit tricky to use pipenv here because this library is kind of tricky in the sense that it needs different versions of native libraries. We need to use different binaries here for my local environment. I need to use one version of the library, but for putting it to Docker file, I need to use a different version of library. Yeah, so that's why here I just use pip install and the name. But yeah, let's actually test it. It's already running it, and now let's test it. And now we have an error, but this is something expected. This is something I warned in the previous lesson. We will have this error. It says that it doesn't know what to do with object of type float. Float 32 is not JSON serializable. And you probably remember this already from the previous sessions with Flask. We had the same error. So what we need to do now is we need to convert elements of NumPy array into usual Python floats. For that, let me just take a shortcut. Ideally, we should put this into a separate function. But let me just write it predictions and then I'll take this array and do two list. So what happens here is we take an umpy array and it will convert it to usual Python list with usual Python floats. And then the usual Python list and usual Python floats are serializable. So we shouldn't have this error. Let's stop it. So I'll build it again and I'll run it. Now it's running and I will test it one more time. And now we have the predictions. We will run it without any errors. It actually showed us some stats, like how long it took and so on. And we have the predictions. So here again, we have the predictions with pens and the rest of them. Now we managed to take the code we wrote in the notebook previously. We converted it to a Python script. And now we put this Python script inside a Docker file. We build this Docker image and we run this Docker container. And now we can test this thing locally. We can send requests to the Docker container and get back the predictions. And this is how our Docker file looks like. We used Python 3.8 and we use a version of TensorFlow Lite compiled for this specific environment. That's actually everything we wanted to cover in this lesson. Now we have this Docker image and we can actually deploy this Docker image to AWS Lambda. And we will do this in the next lesson. See you soon.